it is becoming more and more common for women and couples to choose not to have kids. Why? Well, it's not really anyone's business, is it? Joining me to talk about normalizing the choice to be child-free is Dominique Baker. We're so happy to have you with us. Thank you. standing up to people on social media who take issue with you like how dare you choose to live a child-free life uh, when did you realize that you did not want to have children as a small kid you I knew I did uh, my mother has three of us daughters and it was a struggle wow. I, I saw my parents uh, really struggle to raise the three of us you know financially and yeah. I also um, I, I just knew that Back then, I didn't want to be a mom. Yeah, when I saw the TikTok of you casually putting on your makeup and talking about choosing a child-free life and and talking about all the people that had an issue with it, I'm like, we have to have her on the show? Because I do find the folks that are the loudest about it are people who are parents. Yes. And I wonder about that. We're going to get into that in a second. But first, I want to know, how did you approach your partner with this? You have a partner. Yes. And so, at what point did you say, like, this is, I don't want kids? I when so we got married and I thought well I better ask him about this maybe <laughs> and, <laughs> maybe and um, you know I sat him down and I was really honest and thankfully for me in our marriage he was in the same boat I kind of sensed that uh, he thought the same way I did and uh -huh. I was lucky in that respect happily surprised happily surprised Good. uh not happily i don't want to give off the impression that i don't like children or anything well, like you that you want to be aligned though I with totally. your partner yes. right because i imagine? adore that man i adore that man Aww. and very good now what about your family so there was some grumbles mm. and um you know my mom and dad were a little disappointed especially my dad okay he threw away the legacy he threw around the legacy word a bit right. But they are really supportive and, you know, my mom ended up saying, you know, you know, good for you for putting yourself good. first and good. Yeah, knowing what you want. Yeah, I think a lot of people think that it's a putting yourself first thing, but I also think it's also kind of selfish sometimes to have kids. Yeah. We never see that side really talked about, but I know I get a lot from having kids. Did you get any pushback from friends? I did. I remember going to a barbecue when I just got engaged at 25, and yeah. uh, a girl there wanted to see my engagement ring. Okay. So I showed her my hand, and she grabbed it, and she said, that's beautiful, but you'll never know true love until you have a baby. Mm. And I, I really hurt my feelings, and I was embarrassed. And, you know, I have a mom and a dad and two wonderful sisters, and... Mm an adorable little dog and yeah <laughs> uh, I know love I know true love yeah and and kind of that's really pushing a boundary for someone to come in and let you tell you about how you will feel exactly do a lot of people say to you oh you're gonna regret it yes definitely yeah and I would be left out of some events and gatherings like children's birthday parties and things like that because some of my friends would assume I just wasn't interested. Mm. Um, some, and some friends, you know, called me selfish. But I felt that I was being selfish in my 20s so that I could be selfless now. And I feel I'm a great aunt now. And I know what I want. And the wisdom that I've gotten over the past few decades, I feel, have made me a better person. Beautiful. Yes. Not that you ever need to justify it, but that's good. I'm happy you yeah. feel like you're in a good space and a good place in your life. I want to know why you think people get so angry. That's what I don't get. If you're living your life and you like your kids and it's all good, why would you have a problem with someone saying they don't want kids? That's what I don't get. I have been told that some people are jealous or upset of the um, sacrifices that they had to make when they became parents and right. some rushed into it and some didn't have a choice yeah so <clears throat> i think sometimes people look at me and wonder how it could have been yeah do you think that men who are deciding to go child free get the same kind of pushback absolutely not yeah <laughs> absolutely not i have never ever seen a man um deal with this yeah but I'm also not a man, so, right. so maybe they are out there. I'm sure they are. Maybe, maybe they are. But you do find men in your comment section, don't you? 100%. What there's, are they so mad? What are they mad about? There's a lot of angry dads out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, some of them tell me that uh, 
I'm just upset because I'm infertile or barren. Ouch. That my husband would be right to leave me for a younger oh. woman who can uh, provide him with children. Uh, some are just as vocal as, as women out there. Mm -hmm. I want to know if you think race has anything to do with the kind of pushback you get. Definitely in some instances. A lot okay. of my following online are uh, lovely black women and in the black community, children are so important and such a focal part yeah. of the family, and here I am bucking that. Mm -hmm. So a lot of, I, I would say a lot of, uh, you know, black women will give me a, a little bit of a hard time online about my choice, because it's absolutely not normal, let's say, in my community. You gotta love the unsolicited advice, huh? Oh, I love unsolicited oh my gosh. advice. It's just Isn't great. The best? Yes. I, I love that people know how to live my life better than me. Better than you. <laughs> Why aren't you listening to them, Dominique? They I obviously know. know better. Listen, before we go, because we're out of time, any advice for women out there who are making the life, they're choosing to live the life they want to live, what would you tell them? So a lot of women in their twenties write to me asking for this advice, and yeah. I say stand strong in your choice. Mm -hmm. A lot of women, younger women, will be told that you're too young to make this decision, you're going to change your mind, and if you want to be child-free, great. If you want to be child-free and then you change your mind, fantastic. Just, if you know what's right for you, stick with that choice. Very nice, please give it up for Dominique. Great conversation, so candid.